What's good, Melanin Warriors? I'm talking about the civil rights activists you may have heard of, you may not have heard of. We're going to talk about the life and the legacy of Charles Douglas, the son of the legendary Frederick Douglas. Let's get it, man. Now, Charles Douglas is a name that might not be as well known as his father's, but his contributions to the fight for justice and equality are just as significant. So let's go ahead and start this, man. He was born to the renowned abolitionist and social reformer Frederick Douglas and his first wife, Anna Murray Douglas. Charles was raised in a household that was deeply dedicated to the cause of ending slavery and advocating for the rights of the melanin people. Charles grew up witnessing the tireless efforts of his father who used his powerful voice and eloquent writing to inspire change. And I'm pretty sure you guys know about Frederick Douglass from what they taught in school, or you might've did some real research and learned something even more, man. We'll, we'll cover him on the next episode. It's no surprise that Charles would eventually be influenced by his father's work. So Charles Douglass, like his father, was passionate about education and used it as a tool for empowerment. He recognized the importance of education in the fight against ignorance and prejudice. Because, I mean, hey, man, you got to read. You got to learn something. Man. You got to have some kind of knowledge out here. You just can't be spouting off stuff and you don't know what you're talking about, man. So, so Charles dedicated his life to education, becoming a prominent educator and advocate for equal access to learning for everybody. He understood that education was key to breaking the chains of oppression. That's right, man. You had to learn something, man. If you don't know nothing, you know, that's kind of like um, just a quick sidebar real quick. Knowing your laws, ladies and gentlemen, for when you get pulled over by the police or anything like that, if you're a firearms holder, you, you got to know those laws, man. So education, education, education. So besides his educational background, Charles Douglas was also an active participant in the civil rights movement. He continued his father's legacy by speaking out against racial injustice, advocating for voting rights, and working towards equality for all. And y'all know during that time, the highly melanated people, we had a really hard time, man. Jim Crow laws and everything like that. And one of the most remarkable aspects of Charles' story is his ability to bridge the gap between the generations. He not only carried on his father's work, but he also collaborated with the influential figures of his time, creating a powerful network of change makers. Charles Douglas's dedication to social justice wasn't limited to the United States either, y'all. He recognized the global nature of inequality and worked to connect with activists and leaders from around the world, sharing ideas and strategies for a better future. Charles Douglas's legacy extends far beyond his famous lineage. He carved his own path and made an undeniable mark on the fight for justice. Charles Douglas's commitment to education, his dedication to the pursuit of justice, and his ability to collaborate and connect with others are all values that continue to inspire us today. And let that be said, guys, whether whatever your ethnicity is, man, as long as we come together and do the do the thing, man, we can we can make change. We can make things way better for the next generation. Charles Douglas serves as a shining example of how activism and advocacy can be passed down through generations, <laughs> generations, creating a lasting impact on the world, being a true melanin warrior when being a warrior was more than just leading the army. So you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. I shake.